Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitzatel. And today, um, I, I made the coolest fluffies ever. They're so cute. Um, um, I, I bought some fabric, some really expensive fabric, um, the, the, the green stuff, for $40 the other day. Um, what my mom did, and we used my Nan's VIP gift voucher to get some money off so it wouldn't be as, as expensive. Um, however, it still was expensive for one meter of it though so now I have like a bunch of it just sitting on my dresser over there off camera um but anyways yeah today I sewed these fluffies because I've been meaning to get a bunch of fluffies and also it's like in the middle of fall right now I think I don't know I think fall's just started where I am in New Zealand in the middle of the Pacific Ocean um so winter is coming up and it's getting pretty cold so I need some fluffies to warm my legs up and hey they actually work and like I mean, this was my first time ever making fluffies, and they were really simple and easy to make. They're really cute, they fit me perfectly, and um, I did the seams like really good. It's like, like seamless. I mean, there, there is a seam, but it looks seamless, because it's nice and good looking. I mean, just don't mind the one on- actually no, even the seams on the bottom are pretty good. I can't believe I actually did this, because like, I actually took kind of like a break from sewing for a while. Um, so, like, I'm really happy about it, but, like, I ran out of, like, the actual black fabric that I was using for this, so I had to resort to some green fabric. Um, oh, what color is it? Is bluish, greenish? I don't know. Um, but it's super thick and fluffy, and it actually looks and feels quite quality, like, good quality. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I showed my mom, and she agreed that they were, like, super duper duper cute. And she kept complimenting me on them all day. Um, and I asked her if I could wear them out in public. And she said, no, not in public. But they look cute, though. So, like, I'm wearing these constantly now. Um, because it's cold. Well, not I'm, I'm not wearing them now because I need them to show you them for the video. But, yeah. And they go really well with my leather pants as well. And I made sure to reshine my pants with the silicone polish the silicone spray as well um so that they're extra shiny and they go really well with these um and also i've been meaning to get fluffies for a while um they they, they will contribute nicely with my cyber goth fit um because fun fact about me um i knew about what i i, I knew about cyber goths before i knew about emos um have no clue how um and I've always been interested in cyber goth stuff. It's just that I've never really had the time or the I've never felt the need to put the effort in to actually, you know, look more into the cyber goth subculture. But now I'm actually interested in it. Yeah, recently guys as well. Um so within like the past year or so, I think. Yeah, I think it's been about a year or a bit more than a year. Um I've been getting into a lot of like electronic body music. Well, actually, I've always been a fan of um elect like electronic or like techno music and industrial actually so yeah i think that's pretty cool oh yeah guys today i had an amazing day today um my mom and i um initially we were going to save this for tomorrow but we decided to do it today um but my mom and i we went shopping um it was so fun um i i went thrifting and i bought this um shirt it's like it has stripes on it and it has a bunch of flowers i'll show it to you um, but it was, like, it's massive, or it was massive. I'm gonna tailor it tomorrow so it actually fits. Speaking of clothing that's way too big for me, my motionless shirt, look how big it, it's gotten. Um, I would have liked to get it in si my shirt in size extra small, considering the, it was, it was extremely pricey. But this was all they had left, and then it sold out. Um, this is size medium, by the way. Um... It sold out, and then I checked back, like, a couple of days later, um, in stock again, with a slightly lower price. But that's alright, it was worth the money. I love the shirt, it's my favourite. Um, anyways, well, oh yeah, that's right. Also, while we went shopping, um, I bought another can of monster. This is my favourite can of monster. Mm -mm, this one, this one, this one. Original No Sugar. 
it's the best because it has that distinct flavor of the original monster which is delicious it's the bestest however with the original monster um what's it called there's so much sugar in it and that's not good for you and too many calories and unnecessary but when you have this one it makes it all better because it's zero sugar like look at that initially i thought it said three ca three calories but no that's just the per 100 mil it's actually only 17 calories you can count that with your fingers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen i can count um and also another good thing that i've noticed with monster look alcarnitine that is good for you. Um, my psychiatrist, the psychiatrist lady, she told me that I should take more alcarnitine to help with the ADHD. Um, she didn't actually tell me that I have ADHD. You see, I did I tell you about the psychiatric appointment? I don't know. But anyway, so we went in there um, because you see, my doctor, my doctor said that I am experiencing early si science stages of psychosis or schizophrenia or something, and so she referred me to a psychiatric lady. And the psychiatric lady, she handed my mom a booklet full of full of psychosis thingy. Um, and my mom, she was getting worried because it literally described me perfectly. But then after the session was over, the psychiatric lady was just like, "Oh no, I don't think it's psychosis at all. You probably have ADHD." or some new signs of neurodivergency but it's okay because there's pills for that and then i was just like oh okay whatever i mean i'm not going to take the pills or whatever but like she recommended alcarnitine and alcarnitine is a monster and also i love the can i know it's just a basic monster can but it has the green top and yes i did take the tab off i like collecting the tabs um monster energy should spot me uh, where's my monster belt that i'm making hold on wait where is I wanted to show you guys the monster belt that I'm making again. So this is what it looks like so far. It's still about halfway done. I'm pretty sure I shared it to you guys in my belt video. Um, it looks like the... It looks like this. It's cute. I love it. It's still halfway done. Um, oh yeah, by the way, guys, in New Zealand, we don't have any of the cute colored tabs. Well, I mean, with the original tabs, we ha the, the original tabs are still green, but with most of them, it's black. But that's still cool. Black is nice. But yeah, overall, I'm super happy about my fluffies that I made. And you know what? I'll just disregard what my mother says about not being allowed to wear them in public. Because I'm sure that eventually I she is going to allow me to wear them in public. Especially when it turns winter. It's going to be freezing. And I love them. I'm going to put them back on now. Um, drink Monster Energy. Love you all. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all latest updates. Oh yeah, by the way, the apple pie was really good. You know the one that I made with my brother? My brother is gone, by the way. I'm so sad about that. But it's okay because I'm sure I'll see him next holiday. Um, bye-bye.